way. We may not always have full control of our emotions. So that's why creating a healthy mindset is an investment in your overall well being. Sentiments can be assessed rationally only if we are emotionally healthy. Greetings to all. Once again, a very warm welcome to CBSE Bharat Sahodia Complex Web Series 44. This expert session is on emotional immunity and well being and is part of Bharat Sahodia's enhancement program for educators. Special thanks to Dr. Abdul Salam, sir, for giving me this opportunity to be the moderator for today's session. Well, I'm Annie Albin, coordinator and head of the Department of English at Martyr Day School, New Delhi. I have over 25 years of experience in teaching and teach English to students of standard 11 and 12 at Martyr Day School. I am also a podcaster. You can find my academic related podcasts on CBSE Shikshavani. My podcasts on different topics are also available on Anchor, Spotify, Overcast, Radio Public, etc., under the name Hear It from Annie. Without further delay, let me share how to be part of this session. We request you all to be on mute for the smooth functioning of the event. There will be a question answer session towards the end of today's session. You will raise your hands and we will unmute you. Alternatively, you may use the chat option to ask questions to type questions at the end of the session. We will be available on Facebook and we are live on YouTube. I request you all to please be attentive listeners and actively participate in this session. The participants will receive certificates once they fill the form, which will be shared only at the end of the session. Bharat Sahodia is committed to sharing and caring. We want to achieve quality benchmark in school education and empower our teachers through various enhancement programs. We are here with an international session on emotional immunity and well being, and I would appreciate your wholehearted cooperation in making this webinar successful for the benefit of the teaching learning community. Let me take this opportunity to welcome Dr. Abdul Salam Sir, the General Secretary of CBSE Bharat Sahodia Complex and the Principal of the Oxford School Trivandrum. A dynamic person, he is a proactive educator who has served 22 years in the education sector. Additionally, he is a certified HR professional. His work experience ranges from India and Maldives to the UAE, coupled with vast educational expertise and training skills. He holds several positions besides being the principal of a well-reputed senior secondary school. Sir is a CBSE resource person and CBSE deputy training coordinator of Trivandrum region. His focus is on the empowerment of the stakeholders for which he strives hard with a good number of initiatives for collaboration with various personnel from all walks of life. He has led his students and teachers to many international collaborations. Dr. Abdul Salam Sir has received appreciation from all the institutions he has worked with and from Dubai for his learning collaborations with them. From the British Council for Integrating Internationalism in Education, 
and has been awarded the Instructional Leader of 2020, an education icon by ICSI, International Chamber of Service Industries, Innovative Principal by National Education Brilliance Awards 2020. May I now invite Dr. Abdul Salam, sir, to address us. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Good evening, everybody. Thank you, Annie, ma'am, uh, for the nice introduction. Uh, the curtain raiser was, uh, you know, <clears throat> very impressive. Thank you so much. Thank and, you, sir. And uh, dear participants, uh, uh, respected resource person, Kalam, Kalam of him, ma'am, respected guest of the day, Prakash Vahiri, sir, and uh, our patron, Madam Jayanti, and all the respected educators, who have joined uh, to take part in this, you know, a special session, I should say, because of the present situation, right? And uh, this is the 44th uh, session we we are conducting. Bharat Sakoda is, you know, giving sessions on the needs of educators. We can say it's need-based uh, sessions. We have been, uh, we have been, <coughs> Sorry, we have been after uh, subjects like art integration and etc. Uh, etc. Et and uh, now I we thought this is the right time when we are surrounded by uh, very sad news around, very negative, you know, uh, energy around us, wherein we need some sort of you know confidence to uh, keep us uh, active and uh, keep our spirit up. We are fortunate to have been joined by uh, Kalam Mohan, ma'am. Uh, I think everybody knows her, a very uh, experienced and expertised principal, an extraordinary principal and leader, I should say, very bold. And uh, she has served CBSC for, a, for more than three decades. And she has given a lot of contribution to the education sector. And now she is with the underprivileged children serving uh, in the, the society uh, for the upliftment of those, you know, underprivileged children. So we are very happy to have Kalam Mohan, ma'am. Uh, in fact, we have been trying to have a session from her, but as I told you, we have been out of subjects and all. And now this time facilitated and we are very blessed. We are very happy to have Kalam Mohan, ma'am. And uh, at the same time, Prakash sir also, Prakash warrior, he is closely working with uh, COE Trivandrum, CBSC resource person and a very uh, effective trainer, I should say. And we are very fortunate to have Prakash sir also here. Uh, thank you, sir, for joining us. And uh, uh, so I should, uh, you know, uh, put a note here as being the, you know, General Secretary of Paris, they are organizing such programs here, but that uh, we all know that man is the supremo of God's creation. But I should say, we should say that he is the very weakest, the weakest creation of God. You can see it around because uh, when you take the uh, case of animals, for example, uh, a tiger or a leopard chases its prey and uh, fails many times, but it does not commit suicide, right? But whereas we human beings, when we fail, we think of ending our lives. That is not a right decision. God has not given us that power. In fact, you can we have to learn a lot from those animals, which we whom we consider weak and we consider ourselves the strongest the supreme uh, creation of God. I remember uh, Sheikh Muhammad of Dubai saying, right, uh, in Africa, every morning, in every morning, the lion wakes up with a decision in his mind, in its mind, that I should be running today much faster than yesterday. Otherwise, I will be starving. The same thing, the deer thinks, I should be able to run much faster than yesterday, otherwise I will become a prey. I will have to end my life. And see, this is the decision they take every day morning. Right. And uh, But whereas uh, we human beings, we need somebody to push up 
we need somebody to you know console us we have to be on our own stand of course we are social animals and we need interdependency definitely but we have to know that we have all the abilities to survive in the society in our life right i heard that a deer can run much faster than a leopard but the deer becomes a victim just because of the fear the lack of confidence right so this is the thing we have to keep in mind and we are very fortunate to have kalamokan so he is very special uh, you know in this field is a very uh, known counselor uh, so let's listen to kalamohan ma'am uh, good evening to each and everyone once again and once again once again i welcome everyone to this platform thank you so much over to ann ma'am again thank you thank you sir uh, now i would like to welcome our guest for this session mr prakash varier the principal of pleasant english school koli code kerala Mr Varier is the president of CBSC Principals Council of Schools Association with Integrated Education Council India. Sir has been associated with CBSE Center of Excellence Tiruvananthapuram as a resource person on the topic experiential learning since 2019. Sir has conducted numerous trainings on a wide variety of topics for teachers principals and leaders of various organizations and has also designed textbooks in english for lower and upper kindergarten we welcome you sir i would now like to invite mr prakash varier to do a short felicitation over to you sir thank you thank you anima Thank, Thank you. you for the nice introduction. And uh, first of all, let me thank Abdul Salam sir for giving me an opportunity, and also for the very wonderful observation he made about the suiciding tendency only in one highest species of animals, uh, that is human beings. We always forget that we are also uh, under the category of animals. We can't call others as animals, mergam, but we do not consider that we are the <laughs> real. Mrugam. Anyway, first of all, let me uh, at the outset congratulate Bharat Sahodia for coming out with the, I mean, making the motto of Sahodia into a reality. Though we say sharing and caring, that motto is uh, repeated many times, but normally we don't share and we don't care. As Sahodia rightly mentions, Sahodia. Parts of the doing a wonderful job in sharing their activities, sharing their knowledge, bringing out this kind of a, a fraternity together, not limited to Kerala alone, bringing out the entire educationists from all over the world. Uh, Salam sir is, I think, he's the captain of the ship and he's doing a wonderful job in this uh, arena. I take this opportunity to congratulate Abdul Salam sir once again, and the latest initiative is like coming out with a, a YouTube channel. and the facebook is already there 44 webinar sessions uh, you can't believe that i think this is only one of its kinds among uh, sahodayas all over india uh, i don't believe any other sahodaya has done this kind of a series of webinars definitely uh, coe is taking it up cbc is taking it up but so it's a bigger organization whereas uh, one sahodaya coming out with such a wonderful program is really appreciated so uh, my appreciation once again goes to salam sir and uh, jandi ma'am and i'm eagerly waiting for as a not as a guest as a student to listen to the words of kala mohan ma'am because i am also a human being <laughs> i posted a question also to her we consider ourselves as counselors but very uh, we find it very difficult to counsel ourselves we find it very easy to solve others problems when the same problems come and hit us we find it very difficult we understand that we are real human beings anyway uh, we use the word unprecedented times uh, these unprecedented times many times most of the talks nowadays start with unprecedented times but let me remind you this is maybe this is unprecedented as far as our generation is considered but this is not unprecedented such tragedies have hit the human kind plenty of times 
you just consider the world war the second world war the uh, freedom struggle the tsunami that hit uh, india and the uh, indonesia such other nations we had been hit by such tragedies generation to generation even india had a very black history of having emergency from 1975 to 77 so we had actually gone through either our generation or the previous generations have gone through some kind of emotional trauma at one point of time or the other so we can't use the uh, term unprecedented now definitely during this time of covid a lot of pressure is there on us in the form of as the last day was online we all have been feeling that either we can go for offline classes this year or blended one but now once again we realize that time is not suitable once again how to bring back some changes in the online which has lost its uh, the hype and we find it very difficult so definitely such pressures are the financial pressures definitely are the we some of us have lost our dear ones near ones some of us or many of us are threatened with the uh, chance of losing our jobs because of uh, the students migrating into lesser uh, or the government schools where the financial burden is less we also have salary cuts so that adds our financial pressure definitely we are undergoing a lot of pressure but if we ask instead what do we want to be sometimes we may come out with answers like i would like to be bill gates or i would like to be mark zuckerberg some of the richest people in the world but recently when i uh, i came to uh, hear bill gates separated from his wife you know that i think last week okay and now he is in uh, he is involved in a sexual uh, scandal we don't know the reality he is out of the uh, board of directors also i think now uh, when i was talking to my son about this he was telling that sir uh, papa all the rich people this uh, mark zuckerberg uh, i think um, even the latest uh, elon musk um, the amazon uh, owner all have separated from their wives so sometimes we may think are uh, lucky people <laughs> but on the other side separation is not something uh, which is fortunate they also undergo lot of emotional stress separation whether you like it or not they take the decision after a lot of emotional stress so uh, i won't say i want to be uh, uh, i mean i won't say he is better than me bill gates is better than me so we can't consider that way now we are lucky that we are not involved any in any such sexual scandals we are lucky that our wives or our husbands are with us we are lucky that ed or customs or the interpol is not after us that way we are fortunate and today i <laughs> made it a point to attend kala mohan's uh, uh, ma'am's session because whenever we search for emotional immunity about uh, something related to mind we all come to see the quotation mind is the master if you are able to overcome this master the mind you are the master you become the master everything is yours the life is yours now the only problem is it is easy for a person who has mastered mind to tell others master the mind but it's not so for easy for us so we want to know how we can master our minds what is the trick what is is there any i don't think there is any shortcut kalamam is uh, smiling <laughs> you know there is no shortcuts but let us see whether there is any uh, what you can say some practical uh, points through which we can gradually we can overcome some of our emotional traumas that we are presenting uh, that we are facing this time uh, gandhi ji rightly told our thoughts turn into our character he made different steps thoughts into words words into behavior and at last these thoughts develop our character these thoughts are closely associated with our emotions and many a time we find that the words that we speak out create a lot of trouble in our life i don't want to elaborate once again i take this opportunity to congratulate bharat sahodia and i appreciate their efforts and i expect a wonderful session from kala mohan ma'am is the most appropriate uh, title salam sir has chosen for the time and as student i am also joining this session i thank uh, 
Ani ma'am for wonderful introduction once again. Wishing you all the best, the entire fraternity, all the best. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you, sir. You, Thank sir. you, sir. Thank you. Uh, now I would like to welcome Dr. Jayanti, patron and co-founder of Bharat Sahodia and the principal of Sri Chamundi Vidya Pidam, Tiruvananthapuram. Ma'am is having three decades of unparalleled service in the education industry. We welcome you, ma'am. Thank you. Good evening, all. I'm so happy to uh, meet our best friend, Kalama. I'm so happy. <laughs> Wish you all the best. My duty is to be uh, only for the vote of thanks. Am I right, sir? Sir, I'm sir. That is why wish you all the best. We start with the, uh, your Not program. restrictive. Not restrictive. Yeah, thank you. Thank <laughs> no you, ma'am. No you. problem. Okay, you start with your work. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you. Uh, in this pandemic, we are all going through a deep psychological phase. We need emotional immunity along with physical immunity. This emotional immunity will help us in staying positive amidst all the turbulence around us. Let me now take this opportunity to introduce our honorable resource person for today's much wanted, much needed session on emotional immunity and well being, Kala Mohan Ma'am. Kala Mohan Ma'am has around 34 years of experience in the field of education and training. She has headed three CBSE schools of MP as principal. At present, she is senior academic advisor and educational consultant to few schools. Also the part of academic audit, curriculum development and planning, training of all stakeholders from school education. Ma'am has visited more than 300 organizations across the country and abroad, including Tanzania, Malaysia, Lagos, and Malta, and has trained around 30,000 trainers from school, trainees from schools, social sector, and corporate sector including NGOs, hospitals, banks, and industries. She is the pioneer of Parvarish and has reached out to around 3 lakh parents in the last two decades. Her passion to bring and spread happiness amidst children has led her to come up with two NGOs, Anahita and Nidan who are working with communities in the field of education, health and environment, and mental health. Ma'am has been conferred with awards like Bharat Shiksha Ratna, Guru Dronacharya Saman, Sandeepani Gurujan Vishisht Saman, Best Principal, Avantika Saman, Matra Shakti Award, Tulika Saman, Shining Star Awards, to name a few. We welcome you, ma'am. And welcome once again to all the participants, all of you who have joined us from different parts of the globe. Welcome to today's webinar, dear teachers, educators, and leaders. We welcome you all to today's session. And now, for the session, over to our resource person, Kala Mohan, ma'am. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Annie, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma and I'm visible that I know. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, sincere gratitude to Dr. Abdul Salam the chairperson or secretary, I don't know the designation exactly, the person behind Baharat Sahodaya, and Jayanti ma'am, the patron of the Sahodaya, Annie ma'am for that wonderful, you know, moderator, and Mr. Prakash Warrior. Sincere gratitude to everyone who all are here. My humble pranams to 
my guru and to everyone who are here as collaborative learner everybody here is going to learn i am not the master of anything i know nothing what i am going to talk about is 50% is already being shared everyone has said their part i was thinking from where to start what to say now because everybody has said everything then also i have my experience some words some anecdotes some narratives maybe you are knowing it maybe you are hearing it first time whatever it is my apologies before i start that i am not here for any argument because i personally feel the subject psychology is not yet properly being defined and we are going to talk about the man the god's creation a very mysterious creation you know we have just classified that we are animals yeah agreed we are social animal but we have body mind soul the soul is still to be unfolded the soul is still to be accepted few are first we accept few of us we still deny i personally believe in the presence of the almighty and the presence of a supreme power so all my submission to the lotus feet of every creation of the god with these words just would like to ask one question to you all how are you right now what are you feeling just write in your chat box what are you feeling right now right here what are you feeling good confused relaxed happy can't contain curious excited feeling good excited good yeah happy anxious relax good happy peaceful uncertain fantastic blessed excitement thoughtless wow who is there in trance love you if you are thoughtless <laughs> eager to know more lovely answers feeling gratitude yeah blessed yeah grateful thinking relaxed lovely answers so very good confused and anxious relaxed okay so some of you have written your feelings some of you have written your emotions as we always and with remain lot of confusion between feelings and emotions but the root is thought so how do we have these thoughts how it comes from where it comes from where it originates who all are responsible for my thoughts who are responsible for your thoughts today we'll just slowly talk about it in a very i'll try to make it interactive because in online world when everybody's up with a few of you have just opened your windows and looking at me so i can just see the facial expressions or else it seems as if i'm talking to a gadget and because i am a person who himself or herself i'll be very restless and i need space to jump and to roam around and to play with my participants and whenever this online session comes i'll have to confine between my chairs and to do whatever i can do with my face <laughs> so interacting with you all itself is a challenging task and the subject given to me or the topic which i have chosen and having interaction with abdul salam ji that let's talk about some immunity people and world is talking about haldi ka dood kala uh and then multi vitamins and uh, proteins and uh, too many so i have not found anywhere any kada or any dood for mental immunity or emotional immunity so i thought of let us talk about it today because the game lies with mind not with the body what your mind says your body reacts if your mind says i'm happy i'll remain happy if i'm said anxious i'll become anxious i become curious because i am talking to my body i am converting and i'm just communicating so how it comes how do we do it how can we go with it are we in a position to understand can i give some words to my thoughts or what am i doing with my thoughts whether i am mindful about my thoughts i do i have some filters in my mind this i'll receive or this i'll reject have i learned the habit of receiving and rejecting or holding it or telling it go away or 
वेलकमिंग एवरीथिंग कम फ्रॉम एवरी सेंस ऑर्गन ऑफ माइंड आ जाओ आ जाओ आ जाओ अंदर आ जाओ बैठ जाओ मेरी खोपड़ी में बहुत जगह है यू नो वट एव आई डूइंग so i'll speak both the languages i could find some of my friends from north india also looking at me and smiling so don't worry i'll keep using some hindi words also because i genetically my genes are my roots are from kerala but my wings are here in madhya pradesh i'm the person born and brought up here of course my mother tongue is malayalam but i'm good in english and hindi both so i'll try to communicate to you all with whatever wisdom i am having whatever experience i am having with a disclaimer these are my submissions i am ready for discussion but i am not ready for argument so that's my choice as i said i am ready for discussion but i am not ready for any argument so whatever i say as i said it's my words it's my experiences i have also gone through some books i have also met thousands of people during my counseling sessions as a principal working in community very close knit with almost all the slum areas of bhopal and indore so whatever i talk here will be all my experiences i am not saying that this is it i am leaving it to you it's your take away what you take it along with you i'll try to do justice with this subject from my own wisdom okay uh one more question not question exactly a small activity you know without having oximeter can we just see whether we have pulse here or not do it all of you dekho dhadak raha hai kya phat 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 ho raha hai wahan kuch ho raha hai ho raha ho ho raha hai sab dekh rahe hai bahut dhyan se bahut dhyan se kaan ke paas le jao yeah see we are alive what a beautiful moment this is we are alive what better you want right now right here we are alive then why confusion why anxious why furious why excited too much why feeling too much overwhelmed don't you think that we are alive that's the best gift of god now we have enough time to do our duty our objectives so this is two thing which i just want you to make you understand that sometimes we take our breath our pulse very lightly as if it has to come and it has to go no the most precious moment of one's life is the next breath of mine i may right now right here with this last breath never know so i'm happy that i'm having the another breath of mine that's the most accomplished moment of my life which i could cherish for life that's the perception of life of my so everybody perceives life differently some people play it some people enjoy it some people take it as a burden some people take count the days some people feel every moment as if i have another moment to do something in my duty my objective my family my community my country what not so everybody perceives even life differently although life is not only the count of pulse life is much more than what we consider life as the way it comes to us okay so once again thank you very much and i know that there are some visual learners and uh, yesterday we were having a discussion also that uh, how to go about it so initially i thought that i'll just interact with you all then i thought no there are visual learners and teachers usually have the practice of clicking the pics from the ppts so i thought let me make some ppts and here and there i did something yesterday night and today i shared it with sir also and i am also having those ppts with me because as such if you google it out you will find everything about mental hygiene emotion hygiene emotion immunity mental immunity what not then some new words are also there affective immunology now you you keep on blogging the people every day you will search for it and you'll find something new for me there's only one thing now and here that's it past is past future i am not known present is known to me because i am alive here and now i believed entire life i believed in this philosophy of here and now if i am a mom with my children i am a mom if i am a wife with my husband i am a wife with my husband and if i am a principal leader i am a leader there i don't carry my wife and mother to school they are there at home 
So now in here is the best philosophy which I follow. Choice is yours. What would you like to follow in your life to remain happy and contented and in a homeostasis? Your homeostasis lies with you. No external factors can affect you if you are well aware of who you are, what you are, how much time you have in life, what would you like to achieve it? Is there any clarity? Is there any planning? Is there anything you raise up in the morning and think about it? Somebody was just talking about the lion, the tigers and the deer, they think about, but what about us? Many of us do think about before going to bed, we have all gratitude to the entire world and to sincere gratitude and a lot of reflections entire days. Then we just pray to God and we sleep. Early morning, we get up, we again pray to God. Oh, thank you, God, I'm alive. Then entire day, certain planning that, yeah, whatever I am going to do it. So if some people are having this philosophical way of living their life, some people, they just take inhalation and exhalation, inhalation, exhalation. In Hindi, we used to say, subha ho rahi hai, sham ho rahi hai, umr yun hi, tamam ho rahi hai. Har vyakti ka apna ek tarika hota hai, jine ka, aapka kya tarika hai, you read a number of books, but end of the day, how you live it. It is your jurisdiction, your way of thinking, your way of perceiving life, your way of leading life. Okay. So now I'm ready to share my PPT here. And uh, what I feel like emotional intelligence is almost known to everyone. Uh, can anyone tell me what is emotional intelligence? Anybody? Chat pe bhi likh sakte hai. You can uh, even, I think if it's allowed, you can unmute yourself. By the time I locate my. Okay, is it visible? Yes, ma yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay, so, uh, but I'm not able to read the chat. Emotional intelligence, anybody has written anything? If somebody can, could help me out to read one or two, because uh, it's just coming, I'm not able to read it here. Okay, so it's known to everyone that what is emotional intelligence, because the word is not at all new to us or to life skills made us. Somebody has uh, mentioned the ability to balance, manage, balance yeah. our emotions. Yeah, yeah, great, great, great balance, manage, knowing. So if you chase anything in life, I have not said it, some great scholar said it, said it very nicely, chase the things that get you excited about living. Chase the things that give you hope, happiness, and a glimpse of a better life. Hope and optimism. Beautiful. Do I believe there is a ray of light after this tunnel. Do I believe there will be a morning after this night? My belief is my hope. And that's the glimpse of a better life. Chase the things that make you want to be a better person. Chase the things that inspire you to think, create, and live joyfully. Inspire you to think, create, and live joyfully is the choice God has given to us. Chase the things that reinforce in your soul that you can make a difference. Every one of us can make a difference in our own life and of course, make a difference in others' life. We all are teachers, parents, educators, facilitators, leaders, whatever is assigned to you. But yes, we all have that power to make some difference in our life and to make some difference in others' life. Chase the things that make you want to transform your heart from selfish to selfless. How many of us really want this to happen? And many of us might be having lots of activities and deeds which they have done it selflessly. May be counted, may not be counted. But yes, human creations are actually meant to be selfless. That was God's vision. I don't know how many of us believe in it and how many of us selflessly does up. I do many activities, so I enjoy the selfless. Those who knows me personally, I'm not vouching on, I'm not, this is my awareness about myself, okay? So if I, I'm aware of myself, so I could say that, yeah, I'm selfless many a times, but I remember, I can give eight on 10 to me. So when you chase that kind of storm, you're chasing rainbows. 
So don't forget, when you are chasing that kind of storm, actually you're going to witness a lovely rainbow. So do we have this kind of feeling for life, this kind of emotions for life, this kind of perception about life that is very, very important. So these are the five domains of emotional intelligence. Just recall the classes and those manuals of life skills given to us. Most of us are from CBSE schools. We all have got it. Many of us, I do remember chairman sir, was uh, Mr. Vinit Toshi and then uh, lots of discussions on the assessment of life skills. And I used to tell the life skills cannot be assessed because every moment I am learning something new. How will you assess me? These are not the question answers given at the last of the text. This is my life. Whenever I appear in front of you, I'm a new person. I have learned in between. I have uh, experienced many things. So every day when I'm coming to your class as a child, and when I am meeting my husband as a wife, I'm a new wife. <laughs> Just now Prakash sir was talking about that happy relationships and comparing us with those uh, stalwarts. I always feel that he's right in all the sense that yeah, we are blessed to have intact our entire family culture and whatever we are having, those are the, we can cherish his entire life. But then 10 core skills, WHO defined. I'm going to talk about these five. One is intrapersonal. You will find this word intrapersonal even with Howard Gardner's multiple intelligence there. The intrapersonal and interpersonal. Here we are going to confine ourselves more into the emotional intelligence because your immunity lies with your intelligence. Your intelligence has to play a greater role. How do you nurture it? How do you develop it? Is there any family environment where these points are being given importance or you are being fed in the morning with a nutritious diet and your mama is after you like helicopter parent in your childhood days? Whatever has come in 2019 is a name of a disease. But before that, what was your way of dealing with the emotions? You are just following that. You have, because that's learned. You have learned for years to face the life challenges. This is also one life challenge. Sometimes I don't you know, even want to talk about all those words because I personally believe that even words travel in air. So whatever words I'll use, I'll try to use all positive words. That's sometimes I give this promise to my own self. Today, when I was just jotting down and making my notes, so somewhere of a human relationship, I was just jotting down, few things came to my mind negatively. Maybe I'll touch upon those points too. So one, the domains when we are talking about self-awareness, self-management, self-motivation, empathy, and managing relations. Now, one by one, I'll just touch on all these things because every time just looking at visuals or just looking at uh, this slides is also sometimes boring. I just want to look into the eyes of you people. How do you look at me? How you're feeling it? Because your eyes are talking more than you. They are uh, telling, you know, jab labo par jagah nahi milti, ha, jab labo par jagah nahi milti, to loves aakho mein behne lagte hai. So I believe that your eyes speaks what your heart actually wants to speak. So just having the PPT in front of me and if I'm not looking at you, what you are thinking. So the very first is self-awareness. Now tell me, what is self-awareness? Yes, but I think few of you are very fast in chatting box. Superb, superb. So looking beautiful. No, no. Let's go ahead with self-awareness. I'm getting... Okay, self-awareness. What is self-awareness? Knowing about ourselves. Yeah, very good. Only knowing or something more than that? Knowledge is the very primitive. We all, Bloom's taxonomy series or program done by Abdul Salam, sir, 44. Knowledge is very primitive. We know everything. Entire world is known to me. Self-efficacy, yes. Who am I? Strength, weaknesses. Yeah, yeah. Good. Very good. If you know yourself, okay? Yeah, thank you very much. Atma Sanchay Karna. Vada Cha. 
<laughs> uh, how many of you know yourself? Uh, I think being teacher, you might be sitting with your notebook and a pen in your hand. Just write 10 things about you. Not strength and weak, 10 things about you. 10, 10. Anything, 10. I'm not asking more. 10. Self-awareness is a process of introspection of oneself. Yes, I know. Some are very, very, very confident. Those who are confident, I can salute you. Your quality life, uh, life of your quality or quality of your life is much better than anybody else if you really know yourself. 10, 10. Abha Singh Ji, 10 likhna hai. Jaldi, jaldi likhe. 10 hi manga maine. Dil mange more, but abhi 10. Bas. 10, 10, 10. Yeah, some of them are very fast, acceptance, respect, pride. Very good. Empathetic. Should be, no should be. It's me. No should, must. It's me. Define me. What should and must? India is my country. I should do this. I should do that. Please come out of this should and must. It's your life. Who are you? God has given you, sent you here. Do you know who are you? What is the purpose of your existence? That's the awareness of yourself. Okay, lovely. Any ma'am, written? More than 10. You might have written more than 10. Good, I'm just engaging you people. See, post-lunch session itself is very, very, very challenging for Bina karke idhar bethana is a challenging task, you know. <laughs> so, yes, so I'm just involving you in one or other thing. Otherwise, mentimeter, this meter and that meter, you're already doing it for your students. You know? Okay, lovely. Thank you very much. My submission, just listen. Right from a small child, baby, newly born baby, Look into the eyes of the newly born baby. So divine, pure, full of potential. We teachers never allow the child to talk about self. Sometimes we want him to tell what I want you to tell. We keep on telling him, you are beautiful, you are smart, you are this, you are that. Then the child looks at me, am I? No, 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 I think I'm something else. So we correct. And we ask the child to get it validated every time from here and there. So he, you know, slowly he becomes a little confused also. At the age of six plus, maybe he's asking his teacher, my mama said me that I'm very good in sports. But ma'am, you didn't tell. Ma'am, you didn't tell me. My mom says. So there's a confusion about awareness of his own self because of this validation. Every time we look for validation, recognition, reward, instead of that, right from the childhood, because you all are teachers. So when you are having your children right from a three plus, four plus, five plus, keep asking this question, what do you know about yourself? If they, they say that it's very heavy, then ask them, what are your likes, your dislikes? Do we, do we allow them to talk about their likes? Many a times parents, they don't ask, they don't want them to like what they like. <laughs> they want them to like what I like. Mera wala pano, nila, nila color. I like blue a lot. My dear, you like blue only because I like blue. So the small awareness activity starts from childhood. And you, we all have undergone a childhood experiences of our own self. Nobody has ever told us. Somebody might have told you also that do you know yourself? How much importance do we give to do? Give to this awareness part. And then we have a beautiful definition, manifestation of the divinity which is already present in you. Kitna mismatch hai. <laughs> Kitna mismatch hai. Huh? Or fir us awareness ko dhoond rahe hai. Aaj humne, I just said it to write 10. Many of you have started, might be feeling, no, I'm not even reaching to 10. Maybe I have reached to 20, 30, 40, 100 because this is what I know about myself. But this imandar koshish is very important. A very imandar, very honest assessment of your own self. Do, does your past affect you is also part of awareness. Does your past affect you? 
12 years of age, I've been bullied. 16 years of age, physically and sexually assaulted. It's coming on your way because you have not forgotten. Neither you have, you have, you still carry it along with you. So what was that, that we'll talk about the management first, but yes, awareness means past. Awareness is present. Awareness is holding. Aware, I'm aware. Inhalation, exhalation, blinking of eyes, I'm aware. Number of teeth inside my mouth, I'm aware. The hair graying, I'm aware. I'm aware. Tip to toe, I'm aware. In and around my environment, I'm aware. What do you feel about it? Who you want? What are your desires? What are your aspirations? What is the direction of life? Are we on the path? Have I chosen the right path? Have I really want to become a teacher? Oh, no, 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 no. Accidentally, I become a teacher. After landing here in Abdul Salam school campus, I found it. Oh, I'm a teacher. <laughs> so I have to act like a teacher. Many of us are there in this profession, accidental teachers. Those who know me personally, I used to tell, Yahan se nikal raha tha, badi se building dekhi, to socha bache ko bhi yahi admit kara deti hu, or maybe teacher ban jati hu. <laughs> Buy one, get one. And principal found the teacher speaking good English. Oh, parents speaking good English. So along with the application form of admission of the child, just ask Mrs. Bharatwaj, would you like to be a teacher in my school? You speak such a wonderful English. Mrs. Bharatwaj was so happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can, I can. So she thought that I can monitor my child when she's there in the school. This is one funny example because I feel that presentation must be hilarious and humorous. Awareness. So whatever you are doing right now, are you well aware of? If you are well aware of it, give you 100%. And if you still think that number of pages of my life is still I'm carrying, which are burden, number of pages of my life, which are very happy, which I have completely forgotten. So choice. Please exercise your choice beautifully of your life. God has given no choice to you. Where will you take birth? But after that, God has provided you with only choices. What choices you opted for? Good friend, good school, good book, good experiences, and what you are cherishing till date. If you are still cherishing all your bad memories, bad friends, bad experiences, as I said, choice, luggage, load or unloaded, unlearned, something relearned with new experiences. Self-awareness is very, very important. Okay. Then the second was self-management. Now, what is this self-management? Management, how am I managing myself? Not only my physical self. How am I managing my thoughts, my feelings, my emotions? Have I to have I am I going to stay with this emotion for a long? Am I going to give power to this bad feeling which is coming to me? We give power to the thoughts. We make them devil. The thought comes and go. You want them to stay and you pamper them. You malish them. You massage them. Better all. Dukh hai, dukh hai. Bahut dukh hai, mujhe. Bahut dukh hai. Kitna dukh hai. Dunia ka sab dukh mujhe hai. We keep on saying this. So dukh hai bhi nahi, to bhi wo dukh bada ho raha hai. The dukh has become a big dukh. There is no size of dukh. We make them. They come, they go. That's part of life. You want, that's again your wish and desire. Do you manage it? How do you manage it? What is the management mechanism of your thoughts? First of all, aware of the feelings, then manage it. If you're not aware of your feelings, many a times, believe me, why when, why the, it is it, 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 within like one and a half decades, I'm into education for 32. There, I just want to make one more correction here. Not in CBSC for 32 years. My life of CBSC is 20 years. Before that, I was in Ministry of HRD. So, but not in CBSC. That's Technical Teachers Training Institute. So, entire this year, what I found that the people are like the homes over I have met when I asked them these questions and all about this awareness and management and the feelings. But I found that when you ask a small child at home also, you might have witnessed, you don't allow the child to cry. 
baby child also you don't allow the child to cry immediately grandmom grandfather nanny everybody surrounds the child why the child is crying no 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 in our home child should not cry cry is a emotion cry is a emotion it has to come out if right now you want to cry please cry aloud there's no shame i want to cry the way i am laughing why not i am crying you know all these emotions are badly suppressed right from the childhood we have never given room for the expression so how will the child understand and manage the emotions when the child has not allowed to feel it to understand it to comprehend ki mujhe abhi gussa aa raha hai mujhe abhi rona aa raha hai mujhe abhi chillana hai mujhe abhi sona hai mujhe abhi hasna hai no we have not given any knowledge any education about it we don't have any emotional vocabulary thank god the social media and emojis now people have started narrating and giving some words at puchte rehte iska kya matlab hai iska ye hmm, iska kya matlab hai hmm, iska kya matlab hai humko matlab hi nahi pata see hamara intelligence emotional wala how intelligent we are because we are not even able to verbalize the feelings and emotions we don't have words we are falling short of words we have never been given any vocabulary my anxious my excitement is all same my furious my fear my anger is same everything is same tangents are different levels are different it's entire uh, you can say science but we don't know we have not never allowed if a boy child cries and immediately oh ladka ho ke ro raha hai oh ho 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 this responsibility is given to ladki how conditioned program stigmatized we are we don't allow and see the boys who are not being given proper opportunities to cry at home what does he do that all suppressed comes out in anger form and in community you will get the complaint he has beaten him he has beaten him and he has done all kind of because all those suppressed emotions comes out in one day and then you get so i think this is first take away for you all please express yourself now how do you express where will you express journal writing venting out inside the washroom or in front of the family members choice is yours choice choice don't forget b for birth d for dad c for only choice choice and choice and choice exercise all your choice so managing emotion is also your choice self esteem concept about myself you can meet two people i always get a raw deal my family father mother brother sister my life mein kuch acha nahi hua hamesha mere sath dhoka hua everybody cheated me i have never got any respect in my life nobody ever loved me now i am forming my concept So if i'm forming my concept like this this is my negative self concept so how much esteem you are putting in and this is this this, this matters a lot <laughs> and there is another person i get everything god has bestowed me lots of blessings lovely parents lovely home evening morning nice food nice clothes nice school nice friends because the person who is talking about self is a very contented and very happy soul somebody was talking about happiness from where will you get happiness happiness is state of mind it's in in us we search outside it's in us it's all part of our management self concept improvement feedback management is feedback after the session abdul salam sir will share a feedback form you will write your feedback if it comes to me i'll improve upon because i believe in improvement i want that feedback to be reached to me then i'll improve on what what where the presentation modalities or the sequence maybe the flow of thought because i know i i i i don't know how sometimes i go here and there and then i come back because i'm in a flow so my thoughts are coming i'm arranging them logically rationally but with your feedback i have a improvement there's a room for my improvement in days to come i'll improve in next presentation i'll improve so these are i'm forming my own concept i'm managing myself and i'm looking for improvement kaizen 
Kaizen is a Japanese word. It's not applied only to the organizations. It applies to you first. Do you believe in Kaizen? Do you believe in your improvement? What you were, what you are, what you will be. The slight improvement in your version is what you are looking for. But do you believe in it? If you believe in it, you'll work on it. Aap kaam karenge. Aapko kisi ne kaya diya ya aap achcha nahi kar rahe hain. To aap usse improve karenge. Uske liye aap saari cheezhe ikatthe karenge. Tabhi to aap manage kar rahe hain apne emotions ko, feelings ko, aur apne esteem ko blow up kar rahe hain. Apne concept ko positive bana rahe hain. So, that's management of self. Then, motivation. Wow, what a beautiful word is motivation. We heard it in all transformational leadership, servant leadership, this leadership, that leadership, participatory, democratic. We think that this motivation is required to the leaders only. No, this required for every individual. What is your way of motivating yourself? Do you motivate yourself? Do you look for reward and recognition from outside or do you rate yourself? Do you go for every day's reflection? People may reward, people may recognize. People may validate, people may not validate. 360 degree valuation. Huh? So what is your self-assessment about yourself? What is your way of motivation? Is it intrinsic? Then ways to go. If it's extrinsic, I'm not sure about it. Mine is all intrinsic. Every day in reflection, I rate myself. How did I spend the day? What all mistakes I have committed? How can I improve upon? If I have done some mistake to someone, can I improve upon? Or can I say sorry to the person? I'm sorry. In a flow of my thoughts, I misbehaved with you. It takes only fraction of second for me to apologize. How much time do you take to apologize? To your youngers, youngsters or to your elders? To your colleagues, to your team, to your wife, to your husband, to your children. Irrespective of the age, rendering apologies is very important. That can come only when you are intrinsically motivated and you look for certain improvement in development in your own self. So, intrinsic or extrinsic? Okay. Somebody is saying, ha, because chat box, nobody is able to read. It's better. Yeah. So, anybody, intrinsic or extrinsic? Both. Yeah, good. I love that both. You know, this both is I am okay, you are okay. <laughs> All are okay, okay. <laughs> and this both is always very good choice. Mujhe thanda bhi pasand hai, mujhe garam bhi pasand hai. Thanda garam dono le ao. But at least mujhe malum hai ki mujhe kya pasand hai. There are some people, ah, thanda, ne, 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 thanda rane do. Abhi na mausam bohat aise hai, abhi aisa mausam. We are like this. We are not even sure about thanda or garam. When we are not even able to distinguish and differentiate between thanda and garam, we are talking about self-awareness. It's a simple awareness of yours, Vidra. And small, small decisions we are not able to take because of the lack of awareness. That's it. If I'm aware of everything, if somebody is asking me a choice, I'm immediately like, can I take thanda? I take garam. It won't take time to take decisions. Because I'm aware of what I like. I'm aware of what is the environment outside. I'm aware of where am I sitting. I'm aware of the weather, climate, place, person, who's home. So this is the beauty of the awareness. Self-awareness, self-motivation and uh, self-management. Okay. Then there were two more words were there. Empathy and relationship. So how many of you... No empathy. Empathy kya hai bhai? Salam sir, please tell me where to stop because I I am so, you know, in a row. So it's please tell me or give some indication where to stop. I have to just talk about some strategies also. Okay. Uh, being compassionate. Tatvas, tatva masi. Very spiritual. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Good. So there are three words. Okay. Sympathy, empathy, and compassion. Empath sympathy is, I can I usually give this very simple examples to almost all my sessions. 
you know, looking at someone, he is having some trouble, so pity that oh, 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 oh I, I I know that you are having you know, oh, oh, oh. then you know, empathy is I can understand. I have gone through this. I am also equally experiencing it. So that's empathy. No action, huh? There's only thought and feeling exchange. When this thought and feeling exchange converts into an action, it becomes compassion. What will be the action? Action will be I'm helping you out. You need money, I'll help you out. You need health, I need. I'll, I'll take you to some hospital. You need medicine, I'll take. You need a tight hug, I'm here to give you. Many a times we miss that tight hug of our teachers, our elders. Corona. But we are missing it a lot because that was another medicine we are really missing it nowadays. Tight hug, that's the emotional hug we talk about. So somebody like you know, usually teachers used to ask me this question also: How can I see where my children are lacking or requiring this uh, emotional immunity or hygiene? See, right now on my screen, I could see few of you. Same way, every day you look into the eyes of your children. I told you the eye speaks louder than any other emotion and words. You will find one of two of them are not coming eye to eye. They are just hiding their faces. They are not confident. They are facing some issues. Evening hours, just give a call. Hi, honey. How are you? In morning class, I felt that you require me. I'm there to help you. Tell me, what can I do you? What can I do for you? This is what my children they are. They want. But teachers, do you understand? When, what, why, how? You need to understand that. So that's an additional. Now let's come to the relationship. O M G. Now with whom this relationship we are talking here? Who is the most beautiful creation of the God? First, huh? I love. I love me. Every cell of mine is very precious. Every nerve of mine is very precious. Every drop of my blood is very precious. I love me unconditionally. Tip to two, I love me. So my relation with myself, very important. And then my relationship with my family, community, with my colleagues, with my organization, with other stakeholders. Human relationship matters. It drives. We, it put us in great trouble sometime because we are not able to understand the relationship. What is required? Two things tell me what is required for a strong relationship. Two things. They are the pillars. They are the foundation. Trust. Two, trust. Who says trust. this? Trust. Yes. Prakash. Trust. Trust. Security. I am with you. You all know the story of that boy. The captain made announcement. There will be turbulence. Everybody is scared. A boy was smiling and just enjoying and playing with the toy. Everybody said, the small boy, why you're not feeling afraid of see turbulence? He said, come on, why to fear when my father is the captain? <laughs> why to fear? That's the trust. <laughs> That's the trust. And when my father is the captain of this plane, he will land me. The same applies when you throw the child in air and you catch him back. The trust, the child laughs at you. That's the trust. That's the relationship. The trust in this organization. What may come? My organization will not leave my hand. If not the full salary, at least they will give a call to me and ask me, Mere ghar mein chula jal rahe? Khana hai. Tin time ke khane ke zimmedari meri hai. Main malik hoon. Main employer hoon. Itna hi chahiye tha. Many have not done even that. So the emotional bond and the relationship broken there. Now it is difficult to come back. But many have taken care of. So that also attached to your emotional intelligence and immunity. These are the things which actually affect us. More than what the rational, logical, and the uh, IQ wala come to you are perfect. You are MSc, PhD, MPhil. What will you teach inside the class? Nobody is having any doubt. But how are you going to treat my children? I am having a doubt. 
<laughs> that is dependent upon your emotional intelligence that is dependent upon how will you treat my children at home in school in corridor anywhere how will you behave with my colleagues my team will you spoil the entire broth or you are going to make it tasty there comes your emotional intelligence and your immunity power of the emotions where you are working with it or not so that is what relationship is all about there are all kind of the positive interaction communication effective communication it matters usi rishte ki umr lambi hoti hai dost usi rishte ki umr lambi hoti hai dost jahan ek dusre ko parakhte nahi samajhte hain रिश्ते को परखते नहीं समझते हैं ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड रिलेशनशिप्स आर नॉट एट टेस्टिंग आई सी वेदर माई हजबेंड इज रिमेम्बरिंग माई बर्थडे और नॉट लेट मी सी पुअर हजबेंड इज मेमोरी इज वेरी वीक इन वन डे बिफोर यू टेल हिम टुमोरो इज माई बर्थडे विश मी पीपल लाइक मी आफ्टर दी life of others because i might want my happiness to be intact i'll not wait for the next morning to come and he will not wish and then i start throwing all my temper tantrums so before that i would love to tell it to him that tomorrow is my birthday you wish him that's it i know i know i know complaints no complaints my desire my uh, ichha so i want that others to fulfill it if it is okay it's okay if not okay then okay that i am happy that i have said <laughs> i'll not keep on grudging and complaining that my husband has not wished me because i can't i can't hurt me i love me so how can i hurt me unconditional love hai mera mere sath samman hai mera mere sath mere aansuon ko koi takleef nahi hogi mere aankhon ko hamesha khushi milna meri zimmedari hai somebody was talking about suicide here such a sensitive topic i don't want to touch it but here also emotional immunity emotional hygiene emotional intelligence matters actually that only matters that's a very debatable point whether it is a coward act or courageous act i'm not going to get into it but again relationship so positive relationship nurturing the relationship how do you nurture do you understand each other's emotion with god's grace we are entering into 34th year of our relationship i married at a very tender age so called 21 my husband was 24 we played we grow we developed together i should say something like that we turned the pages off and we 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 have done all those uh, things we understand each other without saying we understand looking at each other we understand but then how many of you have nurtured this developed this see all these are developed and nurtured and learned that is why the session is here that even if today your relationship is not good with your beloved ones start pouring some water of love warmth affection and see the blooming flowers of relationship enjoy those flowers don't crib on don't complain why complaining what do you expect expectation is again another root cause of all miseries <laughs> and if you expect you speak hai na agar expectation hai to bol ke batao dil ki baat subah par la kar dikhao ki mujhe aap se ye ummeed hai yaar subah subah uth ke mujhe chai pilaya karo choti choti khwahish hai isi mein ladai hoti hai choti choti khwahish you know we have very small but with the teacher of science you know two three complaints i'm having as a principal i just want you to you know handle your class properly see three times three tips i have already given so your relationship with teacher is going to grow if the teacher understand what the principal or the leader wants so it's not science it's again the relationship of the teacher with the children the children with children so everywhere the positive relationship is also part of emotional intelligence because here the feelings emotions and exchange of relate exchange of ideas and thoughts they come into fore what language you use during your relationship many a times the intentions are very good but the presentation is so horrible and they feel oh i went there to negotiate i went there to sort it out but see because language we are falling short of words we are not able to arrange them when what why where how this is again part of 
emotional intelligence and relationship everything is words thoughts the the, the thought first is the knocking of thought thought bombardment of thought through all the sense organs then whether you reject or accept is the second process okay so that next slides we'll talk about that and uh, criticism also we are ready for the criticism but the words used in criticism also matters how do you want your relationship to be intact mana ke aapke pati ne subah uthkar aapko chai nahi pilai shikayat ka bhi ek lehza hota hai kya yaar chai to pilate chai to mangi thi aur wahi tumne chai are you can have other all all the uh, <laughs> all the tv soap operas <laughs> Wait, you no, know, I don't know why. Sorry to say it, but I was in Kerala, and my my daughter-in-law was watching some TV shows. I said, "Oh, all Hindi shows are translated into Malayalam, <laughs> with all those furious and anger, and you know, sub shaam ko saath baje." So, what do you see? What do you receive? How you process? What do you feel? This all matters in your immunity. Your power of immunity, emotional immunity, is what you intake. as your physical immunity is what food you take the same with what thoughts you take you have a screening you have barrier come go come go come go it's come go i want it i don't want it i have a wish beach vichar beach kya hai kal hi main kisi session mein bol rahi thi kya beach honge waise hi ped honge to ye vichar ke beach the seeds of this thought is your choice whether you want this thought to stay there or you don't want of is thought to stay there that's your choice so any questions or we'll take questions afterwards i'll just go back to my uh, slide share till now everything is uh, chal raha hai tik tik yes ma'am okay. fantastic theek hai fir to uh mm -hmm. okay so slide is visible Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Fine, 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 fine. Okay, so I was talking about beach. So I got two lines. तुम्हारी मुस्कान का बीज मिलेगा क्या? तुम्हारी मुस्कान का बीज मिलेगा क्या? हमको खुशी की फसल उगानी है. But would you like to give me the smile so that I could have a lot of happiness in my life that is all related to relationship? Okay. So next slide. so oh, emotional intelligence this is we have already discussed just go through it the senses we are using how we are behaving how we are perceiving the impact of behavior on others your behavior on others it yes can you hold on to your emotions you know the 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 time taken between the stimuli and response is what the uh, the game all about your mood are you aware of where is ships what makes you happy what makes you anger which person which situation which place are you aware of if you think that this person is going to make all my program or something try to avoid him tell him 5 minutes hold on take a sip of water it's all yours communicate how to do self talk your self talk really matters if all your positive self talk is there your 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 issues your challenges will become easy what may come paristhiti is not in your control but your manasthiti is in your control so your self talk should always be positive that yes okay fine my oxygen level is 90 92 oxygen cylinders are available doctors are available my family is there i have enough money i'll go to the doctor i'll come out of it i have too many things to do my mother is there my father is there my husband is there my children are there i have so many things to do how can i fall sick these are the self talk at the time of disease if these are the self talk you are just pushing all your endocrine secretions and all your you know blood to pump out to ooze out to come back come back so that's the self talk the power of self talk okay and the other side is uh, if i would have been in a different position job i would have completed my graduation ah uh, main thoda aur sundar hoti handsome hoti main kisi rich parivar mein paida hoti 
मेरे पास बहुत कांटेक्ट होते मेरे पास अच्छे दोस्त होते और मेरी शादी बहुत अच्छी जगह हो जाती सो आई हैव जस्ट ट्रांसलेटेड ऑल द थिंग्स व्हिच आर गिवन हियर बट दैट्स अगेन इफ दिस इफ्स एंड बट्स आर द मेन इश्यूज ऑफ आवर इमोशनल इम्यूनिटी देयर इज नो इफ एंड देयर इज नो बट देयर इज ओनली वन स्टेटमेंट दिस इज इट विद अ वेरी कन्विक्शन एंड द पावर ऑफ दैट स्टेटमेंट comes that this is it and i've already given you the examples of not many statements these are the traits and the adjectives of high emotional intelligence i'm not going to read the low because i always feel no high is very important here for better immunity i have to be assertive now what is assertive say no when you want to say no that's assertive how do you say is your communication style but unnecessarily you keep on taking all the burden on you i can do i can do i will do and then you are not able to do it's better be assertive ambitious very important ambition is not aspiration and ambitious that is the driving forces of our life strong built yes i will get it done i can do it and i'll do it decisive quick decision very firm enthusiastic sociable social skill we'll talk about charming persuasive persuasive means i am here to convince others so my communication is persuasive communication patient that's the crux good listener patience tolerance stable predictable far sightedness vision i have certain predictions consistent whatever i am doing it i am not the person who keeps on changing my words if i said it i said it if i committed it i committed it good listener be a good listener then only you will become a good speaker when you listen 1000 words you will be able to speak 100 words so listen detailed careful meticulous systematic and neat these are the traits of highly emotional intelligent people the other side i am not reading it because i feel that we need to know what to do we need not to know what not to do that's the purpose of the seminar of the webinar so just a uh, Uh, a glance of the summary which we have just talked about so use of self and others emotions for personal and professional development the balance somebody was talking about yes balance of body mind and soul balance of the thoughts and emotions balance is very important your thought and your emotion must synchronize there should not be any confusion your thought is something else and your emotion is not matching with the thought then you will be in great trouble if you want your emotional immunity to increase this this the synchronization is that that's mapping of your thought and actions and your thought and your emotions must match then it requires simple models of approach we have already talked about recognition regulation awareness action regulation is like the monitoring and the regulation of my emotion when to yell at others when to be calm and quiet sometimes as a leader we need to yell at others because that's the only language they understand but every time if i yell i think nobody is going to give importance to your yelling they will only consider that he is a person keeps on yelling at others he doesn't know how to keep the relations intact he doesn't know how to respect others but your awareness about it and the regulation of your emotions and converting into proper action is what ei all about it is applicable in all stages of personal and professional life yes right from your childhood adolescent adulthood or whatever who you are there whatever profession you are into everywhere this is applicable that's emotional intelligence age and maturity are positively correlated yes with age and experiences we improve we learn new habits new behavior and we keep learning and earning the leveling up the emotional intelligence of us it's applicable everywhere as i said earlier same is written here now this is again i'll come back to uh, you people like social skills what is does it mean we are in a social setup we have different kinds of human beings no two identical twins are same they are different do you accept this individual differences in social setup sometimes we don't accept and this lack of acceptance is again the it's not a immunity booster the acceptance is immunity booster okay come on 
I believe in you. I trust you. I accept you the way you are. You may be fair, you may be black. You may be short-heighted, long-heighted. You may be angry zone wala, you may be happy zone. Koi bhi ho, mujhe tum swikarya ho. Hamari problem kaha hai? Hamari problem ye hai, aap bilkul swikarya nahi hai. Aap vaise bano, jaise mein ho. Not possible. And we do this. We are in search of a person who is like me. I, I usually ask when I was, you know, during my student days, I, I usually ask my friends, I used to think, you know, how is it possible? And I, in a very hilarious manner, I used to tell that there is no one other than a Kala Mohan on this earth. There is a single piece Kala Mohan. If Kala Mohan is going to search for another Kala Mohan, is it possible? <laughs> What a wrong search. But in all our relationship, you know, when you have a team, you always have certain parameters. I need these many people in my team. These are the traits which I'm looking for. Come on, the management has already appointed the teachers. <laughs> you have to work with these teachers only. You can train them. You can bring them and fit them into your frame. They have come with their own frame. So if you have the guts and the training, you can. Okay. But then you have another choice scribbing on management. Bilkul nahi janti hai. Kaise, kaise teachers ko appoint karti hai. Ko kitna, kitna kaam lena. Koi bhi ka teacher nahi hai. Main kaise kaam karu? Tum jeevan mein kisi ka kaam nahi kar sakte. Okay. Tumko kabhi nahi milenge. <laughs> so this is where the acceptance matters. In all social relationship, in every immunity of yours, this is what our desire is, if you have two siblings, you very coolly, you tell to the younger one, you are not like the elder one. See, he is now eight years and I had no trouble in nurturing him. See, you are a four years and see, mama is running pillar to post to feed you. You are not like him. And how will he be like him, Baba? He is a different divine creature. The elder one is different creature. Your husband is different creature. Your father-in-law is different creature. Your principal is different creature. Your HOD is different creature. Your children are different creature. Why are you searching like you? Don't you think you are not getting booster dose of immunity? Got it? Acceptance. A very simple word, beautiful word. Acceptance. No, no complaints. complaints, acceptance, unconditional acceptance the way they are first. Then start working with them. That is your wisdom, your approach, your strategies, your techniques and tools, how you nurture your team to be like you or the way you want them to. You won't get the team you want. You have to make the team the way you want. That's the goal of your as any relationship you are in, okay? So social skill, th th these are very important thing. Then another is impulse control. Right from your childhood days, if your parenting is proper, where you have been taught the delayed gratification, then you are able to control your impulses. If it is not being taught, then you are in great trouble. I need it right here, right now. Who is going to serve you, Baba? You talk over the table. You break the table. You're not going to get it. But you have the habit of it, which you have learned because of your circumstances. Your father, mother, and others have listened to you. But now others will not listen to you. So impulses are to be controlled. Meditation, yoga. Silent sitting, listen to the vibration, listen to the smooth arrival and departure and inhalation and exhalation of the every droplets of the air. That will make you to subside your impulse behavior. And please, if you will not, please meet, go for a professional help. That's my request. Many parents, many, many patients died during this I was not thinking about it, but I think this is time for me to give you certain cases of these days because of the impulsive 
behavior, many of them have lost their lives. I know one of our family friend, distant one. The moment he has been found corona positive, he has shared all his reports to his family members. And immediately he gave a call to one of his friends who owns a hospital. And friend said, sorry, Yar, I don't have a bed here. And see the shoot up of the impulse. Kya baat karta hai? Tera dost bimar hai. I'm your friend. Can't you spare a bed for me? And from there, it was not possible for him to come back because he, he immediately reacted impulsively and every organ of his being affected due to the secretion of all those neurochemicals in their brain. An entire journey, he was being taken to another hospital an entire journey, he was telling only the negative self-talk and the talk that I am not going to come back. See, my own friend ditched me when I want him to spare a bed and see, now wherever you are taking me, I'll not come back. It's not possible for me to come back because I don't trust that hospital. I don't trust the doctors. I don't trust the people who are going to inject me. And believe me, within 48 hours, the same ambulance brought him dead. What was that? We are here to talk about immunity. We are here to talk about emotional immunity. We are here to talk about these feelings. We are here to talk about the regulation of these feelings. Learn, and you all can learn it. Practice it. Impulses or impulsivity is not good for anyone. You will be a patient of hypertension. Your sugar will shoot up, everything. If you are impulse and you know anger, and all those zones, or, you know, the, the, the way it is coming to you is in terms of certain uh, parameters, like pathological reports will vary. There is another child who has been identified with some other disease two, three years before. A very submissive child, a student of mine, all of a sudden is diagnosed with brain tumor. Without even informing the parents, she has cured herself. And then one fine day, during her course of uh, this treatment, parents joined him back, her back, and she told everyone, I'll come back. What may come? I'll come back. I have to marry a gentleman. I have to have some children. I have to do these many things in my life. I have to come back. Whatever the doctors are, they will treat me. They'll have to treat me and I'll have to get back. Now, this is, this is what the power of emotions and the power of thoughts and feelings and emotion. This is the emotional immunity. The medicine will do the physical work, but these thoughts will do the entire rest of the work to bring you out of that misery and the traumas and that thought matters. How are you being nurtured? How are you being exposed to the various situations? Your way of perverish, your parenting, your teachers, your experiences, everything is attached to it. And everything is giving you a kind of, uh, you know, the, the personality, what you are today. But please, my dear friends, work on your impulses. Go for silent sitting, meditation, guided meditation, visual journey of your success. Every time sit with an objective in your mind so that that objective will be a driving force for you to live a lot. Keep some objectives with you. Keep some aspirations with you that will help you out. These are the strategies which I'm, because I think it's six or six, I'm, I'm talking about the strategies now. Feel the nature, touch it. If even apple you eat it, take the apple and appreciate the beauty of the color of this red apple and then have one bite after one bite. This is mindfulness. And every bite of the apple convey your gratitude to that farmer who has brought this apple to you on your plate, right from the Kashmir and Kanyakumari, it's reaching to Kerala and Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand, the apple. But one small apple can boost your immunity, not only the physical, even your emotional, when you have it, feel it and enjoy it. So every moment for is here to enjoy. Every moment is given by God to you to enjoy. Talk to your friend, old friend, old black and white album. Adi Adi Chaddi pen ke jahan khade ho, us dost ko phone lagao. Hello Chaddi buddy, yaar, where are you? See, do you remember how we used to stole the amruds and all from those three and we used to run together? Tu pakda jata tha, main bhaag jati thi. That's power of immunity. 
because you are enjoying, you're taking yourself to back up the memory lane, all your childhood days, and that's giving you the happiness, the peaceful state of mind, and that immunity is actually going to boost you. Write a small letter to yourself. That's always end of my all session. I used to tell these are the strategies to improve. Write a beautiful letter to yourself. How are you? Who are you? How was the journey? See, you stayed with me for another 55 years. What all thing you have seen? Kala Mohan, kaisi ho, kaisi rati ho, kaisi jeevan ke tumne har us shaks ko pehchana, uske saat kaam kiya, usko samman kiya, har chunotiyo ka samna kiya, aur kaise achhe apne zindagi ke saat aach chalti chali ja rahi ho. Apne aap ko chitthi likhiye. Write a letter to yourself. Do it today itself. Start jotting down. The journey of your life is so beautiful. Don't curse anyone. No complaints. You are perfect. You are whole. You are what you are. Love yourself. Respect yourself. Whatever, whoever is there in and around you. Sincere gratitude. Gratitude is the highest altitude. It's only when you feel it, they'll say. Gratitude is not to wrap it in some words and just present it to someone. Gratitude is, is a, such a deeper feeling that even the plants, the nature, the people, everyone is supposed to be conveyed the gratitude that God, you have bestowed me with so much. I'm so thankful to you for this life you have given to me. And this submission to the lotus feet of God is yet another booster dose of immunity, emotional and physical both. You are who? The entire world is struggling hard then what? He is doing his job, one after another, testing time. So how are we reacting or responding to you? Respond, don't react. We react because of our impulsiveness. Learn to respond. But learn to respond will come only when there is a time between stimulus and response. So that time which you take is hold on, not to jump on. And this hold on to be practiced. And the more you practice this hold on, the better. Even in inhalation and exhalation, you inhale and hold. Then you exhale. Same with emotions and feelings. Inhale, hold, and then only you respond. And that holding matters. Learn it. Thank you very much. OMG609, I am ready for questions. I hope I did justice with the subject given to me. Jo auro ko yes, ma'am, the comment box is overflowing. Overflowing. Two lines and then questions. Jo auro ko apni khushiyo mein shamil karte hain. Jo auro ko apni khushiyo mein shamil karte hain. Khushiya pehle unke darwaze par dastak deti hai. Spread love, spread happiness. Fragrance of love and happiness is having no color. It has to be felt from the core of the heart. Sincere gratitude to everyone for the patient listening. I can take big questions. And I need the snapshot of all this chat. I have to read it also. Some of them were saying something. Good, good ones are also there, but I want. Chote chote ichai. जो सलाम सर हमारी पूरी करेंगे सलाम सर इतनी हिंदी तो आप जानते होंगे या या आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड एनी मैम ज्यादा तो नहीं इन शॉर्ट्स नो दैट इज योर सर्विस ज्यादा ज्यादा तो नहीं मांगा नहीं मैम मांगे मोर नहीं मैम नहीं हमने तो कहा हमारे मन में हमारे मन में आता है तो हम तो मांग लेते हैं हम उनमें से नहीं है जो चुप रह के कल सुबह तक इंतजार करेंगे भेजेंगे क्या मांगू क्या नहीं दिस इज आल्सो इमोशनल इम्यूनिटी ओके करेक्ट करेक्ट क्वेश्चंस आई जस्ट वुड लाइक टू ड्रिंक वाटर so can we give uh, permission to speak for others uh, no <clears throat> there are questions any ma'am please miss ani uh, yes. you have selected yes. a few questions yes sir yes sir coming to that
Uh, so, yeah. So, some of the questions, uh, uh, Kala ma'am. Yeah, let uh, me see. A couple of them are there over here. Uh, so, one of the ones that uh, I think, uh, you know, a lot of us or many of us would be wanting to know uh, from you is um, how can we as uh, teachers ensure the emotional immunity in our students and also see that our children stay positive, especially during the pandemic? Good question. Uh, see, as I think I said it earlier also, your facial expressions, okay? Mm. Your warmth, your positive vibrations, your receptivity, your sensitivity towards them, your attitude towards them. They should have that trust that this is the teacher whom I get a lot of inspiration, okay? So first, we are the role models for them. It's not written in books. It is to be practiced. Why do they have the real models as role models? Why not we as role models? So when you enter into your class, just exchange the you know, non-verbal communication first, that eye-to-eye -eye contact, that happiness, that warmth, and that just go to the very deeper head eye to eye contact with every child of your online session, okay? And then how to know about, as I say, quick questions, experiential sharing, experience sharing. How is your life? Everything is cool. Do you want to share something? Instead of jumping to the subject content, the initial five minutes you can share with some positive anecdotes in the class. And then you just see the facial expression. You know, the eyeball movement of the child will also give you certain messages. If they are looking at you, nodding their head with the same smile, the reciprocity you are getting it, it means everything is cool at that end. But if you somewhere that the child is not matching with your eyes, not looking at you, it means there is some issues. Note down the name of the child. Don't ask them in public class. They feel hurt and they will not share it. But in, after your class, give a talk, give a call to him. Just a casual call. Don't directly jump into the question. Just casual call. So I just thought, you know, a daily routine, I'm going to give call to two, three students every day. Today is your turn. Ma'am, just want to know, how is everything at your end? And cool. Likewise. So that is uh, the way. And as I say, certain tips I have already given. Put them into lots of uh, experiences and ask their reflections. That way also, many times in psychology, we ask them to draw. So even you can have the picture narrations, show them some pictures and ask them to write their views on that. Their views can also give you an idea about their thought process and thought pattern. That can also be done by the teachers. Okay. Picture writing. Thanks, ma'am. There's another one that's here. How can we come to know that a child needs emotional guidance and support especially now when we are into the online mode of teaching? See, that's what I said it. I think the more or less the question is uh, similar to that, that online mode is non-submission of, sub, not on time, maybe not reaching to the class on time. These are certain indicators. You can keep it in mind, but teacher should not be judgmental. Don't reach to the conclusion that he's facing some issues, but you can have certain checklist or certain parameters to see about the wellness of the child and the well-being of that child. Certain parameters you have to keep with you. That's it. Directly, that if the child is close to someone, the child will come on his own. But then again, that relationship matters. The covenant relationship the teacher taught relationship, the talk taught relationship. Sometimes we come to know about the child from someone else. There's nothing called, you know, looking at someone just with their facial expressions, you can see whether the child is not happy, not present in your class or some doodleness, more fidgetness. Otherwise, some irregular behavior pattern, which was not there earlier, some change in behavior is a very good indicator of, you know, change in behavior change in routine, even at home also. If a child is overeating, over asking, over laughing, everything excess is also not a good sign of emotional uh, health. So observation, a very vigilant observation without becoming judgmental. Okay. I hope I answered. Yeah, you sure did, ma'am. 
and uh, ma'am what about uh, you know when we come down to primary students the little ones how can we improve uh, emotional intelligence in them ha ah, i told you all all know this size emoji emojis ke aise placards to be there in the classrooms okay and we need to give them the show the emojis and ask them how do you verbalize it what is this emoji is all about so right from the smaller ages smaller classes pre primary and primary there should be emotional uh, directory or dictionary emotional you know emotion means verbalizing the emotion they fall short of the words so if you google it out you will get the lots of uh, synonyms to various emotions so the child will be able to touch and tell you i'm happy i'm i'm not good i'm angry or i'm in a joyful mood i'm in a happiness mood so we have all these kind of emojis so right from the lower classes you must teach them the emotional directory or dictionary or the vocabulary so that in days to come the child will be in a position to many a times you might have seen even the child is in 8 8 standard 9 standard just sitting in front of the teacher and keep on telling i am not feeling good i even at home to parents that i am not feeling good i am not feeling good when you ask what what is what you are not feeling good he is not having words he will just keep on telling you i am not feeling good i am not feeling but now when you teach these words to them then they will be in a position to verbalize their emotions on time with that approachability access to the teacher access to the parents this is yet another quality after acceptance i forgot to talk about that is availability of a teacher to the child the approachability of the school leader to the child i was a principal of a school and my door remains open if they are not in my class i am there in their class i used to go for substitution classes i used to take all the 12 periods in a week psychology was my subject so i was a my pgt psychology too and i enjoyed the company of children and in a, as a leader as a teacher if you have that proximity with your children they you become accessible and approachable and they themselves will come and talk to you about their emotional feelings don't interrupt them when they are expressing we have a habit of judgment we have a habit of obstructing so when the child is coming with full of emotions don't suppress he is crying he is yelling just cool down yourself sometimes mirror neurons work you cool down the child also cools down but then if both of you jumping like this then there's no emotional connect so these all are the things which teacher has to learn in due course of time Hmm. Maybe there's another one. Uh, I think it's more or less uh, taken up. How can we help to manage emotions in the class? Okay, what kind of emotions? Managing emotions of others. Now you can manage emotions of others when you are able to manage your own emotions. This is this is the simple principle to be applied here, like that air hostess. so if she is in a homeostatic state it is easy for her to manage everybody's emotions in the class that is hard like there is no one fits for all because emotions are such a wide subject and still the researches are on so a teacher has to be in a balanced state of mind first of all when she is interacting with the children of different emotions she can manage those emotion one after another in a given situation but for that she has to first see a simple example i am giving how our teachers make children quiet in the class they yell to the highest decibel of noise keep quiet they want them to be quiet but they also yell from here so they she has to reflect the emotion which she wants the children to reciprocate So if she is just stand there quietly and looking into the eyes of everyone and so telling them, children will automatically understand. So this is also emotion, you know, making them why they are all making class the entire mela kind. So she has to make the class under her control first. For that, she has to express it what she want them to reciprocate. Ma'am, there's uh, one other one here. 
uh, does social media play a role in building emotional immunity and well-being? If that's so, then how? See, beautiful question. <laughs> media, WhatsApp University, Twitter handles, social media does play a very important role. Why only media? I said information and your senses. The receiving of information and processing of the information is again the transfer, uh, converting those information or the thoughts into some emotion or feelings. So there should be a check and balance. What you are taking. So I just gave a simple example, uh, you know, uh, like I, I have received two designs, okay, beautiful designs sent by Abdul Salam sir. And simply he asked me, which one is your choice? I have chosen the other one. Why I have chosen the other one? There is a reason. And that reason is something which is known to me. That is perception of the design and then acceptance of the design to the taste of mine. Same in the social media. Too many, it is bombardment of the information. So am I teaching my child to take and receive the correct and the fact? What is the difference between fake and fact? So first I should know it, then only I can educate my child. I don't say that to stay away from social media, no. Today, if we are sitting here, we are connected through social media, but we are here for a learning. We are here for collaboration. So the objective is very clear. Why are we connected to this social media? Maybe some emotional exchange too, but then what is your objective to connect to the social media? to see the number of likes and to dishearten yourself. I have lots of adolescent children. They are the head boys of their school. They have posted something in Facebook and Instagram. They have not got the likes. Now the child is sitting in front of me with lots of traumatic condition that ma'am, I am the unopposed leader of my school, but for my post, there are only three likes. Oh God. So how the child is perceiving the social media and connecting it to his leadership and his personality. So the children are to be given proper training of internet maturity and digital citizenship. There is a course, DCIM. In our country, we have not given to anyone. In other countries, before they have given the exposure to the social media or to the internet or to the net, this training is given to every child and every stakeholder. That is digital citizenship and internet maturity. So what to do, when to do, how to do, the child will learn. And that is why we as educationists should do that. But social media do play a very important role in affecting this emotional immunity and hygiene of any individual. It do. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, any other questions? I, I don't see questions anymore. No more questions. Uh, it seems, uh, you know, full of uh, compliments yes. and, uh, you know, praises for ma'am. Yeah, and full uh, of they it. want uh, more sessions from ma'am. And uh, I was reading all, you know, some have written even paragraphs, uh, you know, about the session. Uh, a lot of takeaways and uh, it seems madam has touched everyone's heart uh, <laughs> uh, if it were in a physical you know auditorium with more than 900 people everybody everybody would have stood up and you know uh, given a thunderous applause so congratulations ma'am thank you for uh, spending your time with us and uh, madam uh, any ma'am please call for a word of thanks Thank yeah, you so yeah, much. thank you, sir. Uh, and uh, ma'am, it was really nice. A uh, very wonderful session. Like uh, Abdul Salam, sir, mentioned, I could uh, see in the chat box, people are saying it's terrific, excellent. There are all kind of adjectives to describe. Terrific is, terrific is really, one has to go for the dictionary meaning of terrific, terrible. <laughs> uh, no, this was terrific. So, yeah, it was really wonderful. And uh, all of us have really benefited from this. And uh, yeah, uh, so uh, it was a really nice session. And uh, I would like to uh, now invite uh, Dr. Jayanti to propose the vote of thanks. Uh, over to Dr. Jayanti. I, I like those smileys. Huh? Gigi, thank you very much. 
<laughs> Thank you. That that that's what is needed every time. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Jayanti. Uh, Dr. Jayanti. Jayanti, ma'am, are you there? Yeah, she's there. In fact, I told her. Yeah, she's there. I think. Yeah. But she has to be unmuted. Unmuted because now she has entered with her name. Okay, 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 sir. Okay. I'm so happy, Kala, ma'am. A wonderful session. I'm after so long happy. time. Jenti, ma'am, after long time. Yes, yes, I know that. <laughs> this is the second. Our yes. the second opportunity. Okay. You know, the first is Al Search Convention Center. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, ma'am. I'm so happy. Am I duty? No. Nothing to this duty, but the full effort is our salam, sir. Okay, uh, so, so I'm so thanks to your wonderful uh, input in the all the teachers and the principals. I'm so happy, ma'am, and also the principal Prakash Warrior, sir, and also an an Albin, ma'am. Your name is here, Anne Albin or Annie, Annie, Annie Albin? Annie yes. Annie. Thank and you. all the participants who joined to this section. Thank you so much. But once again, thanks, my general secretary. You say, say eminent person in not all in all in Bharatagodaya. Now this time. Uh, once again, thank you so much. A lovely person. <laughs> the the Kalam ma'am, so happy. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye -bye. Madam has symbolized all the participants <laughs> by giving a flying kiss. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, no, Kalama only, Kalama only. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, thank so, you so much. This is for everyone. And this is for everyone from my side. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, so, that's thank yours. You. That's yours. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes, ma'am. And uh, uh, definitely, you know, people are uh, demanding, I should say, they are demanding one more session from Kalam on, ma'am. Uh, so we <laughs> hope uh, we can, uh, you know, associate once again. And uh, uh, so uh, if, you know, uh, I think participants have uh, felt a positive energy and, uh, you know, they have taken away a lot of things. So definitely they will be, you know, if there are uh, there is someone thinking about uh, you know our session and uh, there is change in the in their lives then definitely you are successful ma'am right i, I yes. pray and to god definitely that everybody going... will get that peace state of yes. mind the happiness in their lives that's my prayer and, uh, <laughs> definitely if we are you know happy then definitely our steward i mean i mean our children will be very happy much happier than us so everything we create, and it was, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, recharging. We have uh, got recharged from your session, as many participants we are commenting. And uh, uh, thanks a lot, Kalam uh, ma'am. Uh, I have no more words than, you know, telling all these things. And uh, a big thanks to Annie, ma'am, also for uh, such wonderful, you know, thank she you. was preparing uh, very nicely. And thank you. Uh, thank you, time, you know, she wanted to make it. Yeah, she wanted to make it uh, very beautiful, very impressive. And uh, thank you all the participants for your wonderful support. Uh, uh, we should feel that everybody was, you know, nine more than 900 participants. They were very keenly listening to. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, right. Congratulations, uh, it's, it's sir. It's a difficult sir. task. For yeah, hosting yeah. a mega yes, session. Yes. Mega <laughs> session. Correct, sir. Thousand yeah. uh, people. It's the plus yeah, point yeah. of uh, this internet also. The other side. Yes. Yes, yes, and uh, thank you, Kalam, for the wonderful session. Thank you, sir. Uh, Thanks a lot. Initially, I uh, asked you the same question. We as counselors, it's very easy to advise others to make changes, but when uh, it turns back to ourselves, how we, uh, when we face problems, how can we changes in ourselves is a bit Herculean task. I think I got lots of uh, hints, clues today, and I will work upon that one. Thank you for the wonderful session. Thank you, Abdul Salam, yeah. once again. And Annie, ma'am, wonderful. Thank you, Prakash, sir. Andy, ma'am, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. You remind throughout. Yeah, thank you so much for your input as well. Yeah. Thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Jayanti, ma'am. Thank you, all the participants.
thank you kala ma'am once again thank you hope to thanks see you on this platform once again god bless uh, you all stay healthy yeah. stay safe keep so every I'm, one of us in your prayers yeah ma'am i just like to come in for Madam, uh, I, so may i just come in for a second yes please yeah i just wanted to end this yes, because please. it was such an enriching uh, session i just wanted to say a few words of gratitude so uh, gratitude helps you to grow and expand gratitude brings joy and laughter into your life and into the lives of those around you life cannot be rich without gratitude and i am indeed grateful to bharat sahodia i on behalf of bharat sahodia express my heartfelt gratitude and thanks to our guest mr prakash valya our patron dr jayanti and to our resource person of the day kala mohan ma'am a big thank you to the technical team and to all our participants our leaders who attended cbse bharat sahodia web series 44 on emotional immunity and well being last but not the least my sincere appreciation and deepest gratitude to dr abdul salam sir thank you sir for all your efforts your patience and all that you do thank you for being such an inspiration and motivation to us you are doing such a great job in bringing together and educating educators from across the globe thank you sir for giving me this opportunity to moderate this section and thank you all stay healthy stay safe god bless this is the this is the 44th web series by cbsc bharat sahodia thank you once again thank you any ma'am good message thank you thank you any ma'am thank you so much that that uh, itself is a I would like maybe to... history history maybe history in the you know sahodaya yes. that i would like to take this opportunity to thank my admin team uh, it team and uh, uh, the school model school abu dhabi which is our sister concern who uh, is hosting this zoom uh thanks to vice principal mr sharif who is not here thanks to sawa the it support and uh, it was just like you know listening to uh, you know approaching a doctor you know who with whose presence the, the sickness the illness is healed the kalamohan smile and presentation you know uh, uh, looked uh, similarly so thank you so much ma'am thanks everyone and thanks to uh, my team arafat also thank you so much thank you everybody thank you thank shall you. we shall we leave the meeting